What's up guys, Hyatt here, and today I wanted to show you what I've created in the past time. So, in the past week I've been working on a ordering or cashier system. Basically, it's supposed to be something like they have in shops on the uh, caching machines. So, as you can see right here, uh, here are the users and their ID listed before, uh, when, when you actually run the program. So, uh, I have an admin user, which is also the A right here, if I can uh, mark it somehow, edit, mark. So this is an admin, this is a user, and these also users, and this is an admin. So, so first I'm going to log in as myself, and as you can see the password is hidden, so nobody could read it. And right here we are basically in the shop system. I have, in this case, I have TXT files, but you can also do it with uh, anything else like a database really, but just to have it easier to be edited and uh, to show it uh, in other places. I did it with TXT files because they're always with me. I can always, uh, with no problems, uh, run the program and access the files, unlike it is with a database. So I'm going to open this one. You can see it's got uh, all the things listed. You can see also in the program right here. I can't mark it anymore. Like you can see right here, it's everything the same. And like you have seen... Uh, Oh uh, yeah, so you can see it's everything listed here. And like you have seen the users, they're also here. So I have a permission which A means admin, U means uh, user. I have the name, I have uh, the password. You can obviously see the password right here. So you could add hashing into it and save the hash. But you can also uh, encrypt the whole thing so nobody could uh, just take one line for example take this line and uh, yeah or take this line and put an A in front of it if let's say he has got access to uh, the database or this file he could just change it to A and would be an admin when he logs in the next time so to protect this I would uh, encrypt the whole line and every time I uh, look for, I open it, I decrypt it. And when I'm going to show you how the program is made, or what it's made from, you will see that it's actually possible, because I only read the file one time per run. Or actually, I save it afterwards, but uh, I don't think it's a big deal to add uh, the encryption-decryption process to two parts, so I... I didn't come to do that so far, and I also like to see, while I work on this, like to see what's actually happening and how that looks, so I can debug it easily. So, okay. And we got the settings, and this is the fees, for example, 19 is 19%, I don't know whatever your country has, uh, mine has 19% um, fees or taxes, let's say taxes, because fees is a different word. And this is a number decimal separator. As you can see in the program, it says dot. But by default, at least for me, it's a comma. So right here you can select uh, if you want dots or comma. Because usually, for example, in, in America you have dots. In, in Germany you have comma. So this is another thing. We got the items. And to lock, we'll come to that uh, later. So what can I do here as a uh, user? So I can order items, I can manage items and log out and exit, of course. So for example, let's manage an item. So I can delete an item with uh, D and the ID. So let's see, I want the I want the phone deleted, which is zero. I'm gonna delete it. So now it. Uh, remade the ID list so now the ID of TV is zero next time I want to change it and I can save it to the database well it's a txt file but I call it database because I can change it anyways later 
So now let's say I want to add phone. Maybe I didn't like the price. Uh, there is no possibility to add it yet. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe not. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, a phone. Let's say it costs two hundred ninety nine. Ninety nine. Yes, and there's the phone. And now I can order this. Uh, let's say I want to order a TV. I want to order a mic, another mic, two CDs, a phone, speakers, headset. Oh, that will be expensive. A camera and a mouse and there we go okay I don't know what happened here it's a bit messed up so this will be one I don't know what's right here maybe forgot to make a new line yeah I probably forget to make a new line at this point so I have the uh, name right here the prices the IDs of that item and the number I have to include the cha uh, charges of 19%. I'm not gonna make that. So I don't know what happened here. I forgot the line probably, so it would be in the next line. Uh, I have the numbers, I have the ID, I have the name, I have the price, I have the taxes, I have the total price, uh, which is messed up. Of course, you can't pay uh, 86 part of a cent. Well, let's say uh, zero eight six cents, but that's because of the nineteen percent. So later, I would uh, I could leave it like this and uh, round it or cut it. But I think I'm gonna uh, round it or cut it. Yeah, I don't know yet. It's undecided. So now I say, what uh, did the customer pay? Let's say I paid two hundred eight. Uh, Twenty-eight hundred dollars. I get back one hundred seventy, and this number. Of course, I can give back this. Okay, and now it. Uh, what I told you, log. It printed out uh, this. Out print. For me, where there's uh, s still something missing. I added the ID name price part to here, but for some reason it's not yet showing. Oh, it went uh, down here, so I put it at the wrong place. So, imagine it to be like this. And this goes here. So, at this point, you can see that TV is in the right place, unlike it was in the program. Okay, so let's log out and check out what uh, admin can do. Okay, that... Uh, Close, probably unfinished the relogin part. So you can see I'm still in process uh, because when you do something and you created it, it's really hard. For example, in the beginning, uh, user usually it's the users who find the bugs, but in this case I have to find the bugs myself, so it's really buggy. So I'm gonna uh, log in as uh, administrator, and what you can see here, here's a, here's a another option for doing stuff so I can manage users and this is nice and here's the title messed up so I have the ID of these all and the name so I could for example add I put the permission let's say another admin the name is let's say I don't know Ian and this password is I123 there he is Yes, and I can uh, delete the account again. Uh, yeah, by ID, because somebody could have a complicated name and it would uh, fail doing that. So, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to add to this program yet. I'm going to fix all the displaying issues and fix the logout uh issue I don't know because uh, I'm calling the right uh, function it's login but for some reason it quits afterwards I don't know
So guys, I decided to end this video right here, because probably not everybody wants to look at me fixing the errors, but if you do want to see this, uh, you can go ahead and watch the next videos, or find the link in the description to uh, the video where I fix the errors of my programs. So, thank you for watching, and see you next time!